okay I'm gonna go through this workflow real quick and see if you can help me determine what's going on here uh, I've just drawn a circle uh, I'm gonna do three passes let me speed this up to 30 uh, cut mode and I've got my Z steps per pass at 0.5 so if it makes three passes theoretically it should move up 1.5 millimeters by the end of the job or by the third pass okay so I've got that stuff set up um, I'm gonna fake it here I'm gonna leave the uh, laser off and I'm gonna fudge a little on the focus so I don't uh, strip out my belt because of course I don't have uh, limit switches in there yet end stops for the z-axis um, yeah I'll get I'll get into that later anyway let me show you what's happening I'm gonna go over to the machine and set the z-axis first let's go over here and get a position uh, make sure it's home and I have a position of 0 on the X 200 Y and the z-axis is at 0 right now so I'm gonna change it on the graphical display so we're gonna jog and we're gonna move I'm gonna go move 10 move C and just pretend that I've got my focus jig up there so I'm going to take it on down to about negative 60 millimeters. Okay, there. Now I'm going to close the lid. I don't need air assist because, matter of fact, I'm going to turn the exhaust off so we don't have to hear it. I don't know if you can hear me over there. I uh, manually adjusted uh, the focus. Uh, without my focus jig because we're just walking through this thing. I took it down to negative 60 on the z-axis So I'm gonna get my position again, and it does reflect that be neat if maybe this could auto refresh Continuously is that doable? Maybe we were talking about getting some uh, real-time telemetry going on Anyway, if not no biggie um, So that is reflective of what my display is showing over there. Uh, I set it way low because let me show you what happens let's look at our cut settings again uh 30 millimeters a second 99 percent power cut mode three passes a uh, half a millimeter step per pass on the z so i'm gonna hit start so it should stay where it is right and make one pass of the circle then it should move up a half a millimeter do the circle again and repeat one more time here is what happens when we switch to full mode and I hit start. Look at my z-axis. It moved down. It moved down. Then it just moved up just a touch. Could you see that? I don't know if you could hear me. My microphone's over here. Um, that seems kind of strange to me. Uh, it's highly possible it was something I did, but it looked like it was going the wrong direction. Now, if we go back here, if I move these, uh, of course, you know, this stuff works great. I like this part. Check this out. I'm going to put a little smiley face on there, a little sticker that says hi. Anyway, okay, back to it. So, um, I'm going to go use the Z minus arrow, and it functions properly. And this is from Lightburn. Well, you can see it. And up. Okay. So, let me take you back down again. I'm going to run the job again. I need to take it down to where are we at now 54 I need to take it down to at least negative 60 so I don't crash my z-axis we're at about 88 right now now let me just hit set origin 
Uh, I'm not going to touch that focus button. All right, I'm going to run it again. Let me look at the settings again. I don't know what I'm missing. Three passes, uh, half a millimeter step per pass. So again, theoretically we're focused, or hypothetically we're focused, and it should make a cut right now without moving the z-axis and come up a half a millimeter do it again come up a half a millimeter do it again right so i'm going to switch to the laser cam and i'm going to hit start i don't get this it's moving a lot stop stop it did move down instead of up and it moved down again instead of up and now it moved up again did you catch that anyway that's what i'm dealing with right now uh, any input you may have um would be awesome